All right, hi, I'm Mike. This is Bonnie, and this is kind of our life. Um, we grew up in the typical standard American life, this, as we call the Sal. Um, I went to UF, she went to UF, her parents went, went to the University of Florida. Um, we thought that was what you did um, until we woke up. Um, 2015, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. I did the whole treatment the, with the chemo and everything and other doctors did. And it was six months later, I was supposedly cured. Um, and then it went on with my life. Uh, and a couple years afterward, about 2016, uh, our son, Bear, started having some issues, behavior issues. We were kind of concerned. We didn't know what was going on. Um, and he'd been kicked out of all of his schools, and he was a wild child. Um, they wanted to put him on antipsychotic meds at three. We said, no, that's not going to do it. And then we found um, one of his teachers spoke to us and said, hey, have you ever thought about his diet? And so we were like, what do you mean? She's like, uh, look at gluten, gluten and milk and dairy and stuff. It could really affect him. And then she said, she introduced us to her father-in-law who Dr. Springer who's a wonderful man who basically said this is what you gotta do so we started supplements with them so um, and then we went down the rabbit hole from there being healthy um, cutting out preservatives and um, all the processed food and going t to a paleo diet and it was great and it was wonderful everything was great we were um, healthy I was we were strong and um, I was doing a thousand push-ups a day and then in April of this year, I found out I have leukemia. Um, ac acute lymphocytic chemo. Uh, excuse me, uh, leukemia. So, I mean, and I was in the hospital for a month. It was scary. Uh, but we're starting this blog um, to share our story or the, um, on this website because we've been told several times by a few people that we trust truly um, that we need to write a book because our journey has been nothing short of amazing and unique just everything we have been through where we have come from our plans for the future so this will be our first video blog of hopefully many and maybe we can get to a point where we do them almost every day but we just we have a lot of things to share um, we want to advocate um, we feel like it is our longing to to do something big in this world and to help others. Um, recently, because of the recent cancer diagnosis and we're healing Michael holistically, just through food and herbs, we've discovered even more um, emotional healing. And we've, we've started, like we view life differently. Like it's all about health and happiness now. And possessions to us, they just, they seem not. They just, the importance of just, it's just not there. So right now we're researching and we're making plans to sell our home. Is this yeah. okay to say? Yeah. <laughs> but we're planning to sell our home and most all of our possessions, probably 90% of them, yeah. buy a fifth wheeler and travel the country with the boys while they're still young. Um, we think that this could be the most amazing education and experiences that they will ever have. Yeah. Um, so right now we're kind of working out all the kinks. We've already contacted our realtor. Mm -hmm. And we want you to be a part of this journey because it's going to be fascinating. It's going to be wild. And there'll be positives, there'll be negatives, there'll be mistakes, but there are mistakes and we really look forward to it. Um, a lot of things in, in our life have changed. Even my hair, I started doing dreadlocks and I know it looks like a mess right now, but it's a change that we wanted. Yeah. So It's a change for us. We're going to do this for us. Um, we've realized we've lived 35 years um, and haven't done anything. We did the standard stuff and never, never, never had any adventures. And why not have an adventure with the most important people in our lives, our children and, and one each other. Um, and since we started down the journey of this emotional healing, which I know is crazy as it may sound to those that are not there yet or don't really understand what it is, because we were there also, it's it's something that really changed us. And we've, we've learned about the law of attraction and we're so happy yeah. these days and yeah. I mean truly we are so anyone that thinks that anything is psychotic that we're doing 
we feel happy all the time and we feel extremely healthy all the time. I feel like we've discovered health and it's something that we want other people to join along with us. We've and it's not an easy, it. yeah, it's not an easy journey. Yeah. We've been through a lot. We've been the black sheep <clears throat> a lot. We've, even the everybody oncologists. Everybody thinks we're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody thinks we're crazy. They think we're, we're nuts by eating the way we eat, by eating um, fruit and vegetables and, um, and grass-fed uh, meat and stuff and healthy food that's from, from the garden, from the locally. Um, and now mostly we eat raw, and mostly. Raw. And that's the most important thing. We and do. it's been hard, some of these addictions, to wipe out. The sh- I had a bad sugar addiction. I mm-hmm. used to yeah. sneak ice cream at she night. Did. And in the meat, too, we're still yeah. there. Yeah. We may never give up meat completely. We haven't really truly decided, but we're trying to do mostly raw, raw. now. Mm-hmm. Raw and, pe- like a, and some fish. Like I fish, I've been fishing my whole life, it's in my blood. Um, and it's fish that I catch, I catch. And I, and I, and we would cook it. It get gotta be the healthiest fish you own. I mean, it's just in your, it's in your genes. And it's my blood. It's in my my family. I mean, and we want that life. And we want to eat fresh fruit and fresh um, veggies and stuff. And um, live it. I mean, live up to it. And enjoy it. And um, teach our children that way. I mean, we have two great kids, Bear and Willem. Bear six. Um, talked about him a little bit. And Willem, our two nephew, he's he's a He's a wonderful kid. I mean, he's got spunk. I mean, he's caring and loving, and but he's a picky eater. He'll only eat grass-fed bacon and grass-fed sausage and organic waffles. And breast day. milk. And breast milk, yeah. They, he still nurses pretty yeah. often, but we decided to do the blog, our first initial blog video tonight because we actually we just got back from a farm festival and both the boys are asleep. So we thought this would be a good time. But we want you to come on this journey with us. It's going to be unique for sure. We've got a lot of plans. Who knows what will happen. Every day we discover something new. But right now we have this beautiful house and we're willing to let it go by this fifth wheeler and then in a big truck and just travel. And that's what we want the boys to grow up seeing. Who knows what will happen. It's exciting just to think about it. So we're doing our research now. Yeah. But we're looking at fifth wheelers each day and looking at finances. We actually talked to the the bank and figure out what we can do and um, but this is our house right now yeah, it's a standard house it's beautiful we've got a beautiful i know everything's dark now but we actually put up our christmas decorations already some of them and there's there's our beamer over there we'll talk about that at some point yeah. and at some point we'll talk we'll i'll give you some details we will give you details about mike's cancer healing yeah. protocol because it's quite fascinating and at this point it, we're about seven months in and the oncologist had told us that his cancer would be back six months to a year if we walked out of that office door, which we did. And it's now at seven months, and his blood work could not be any better. Yeah. So we know what we're doing is working, or has worked. Yeah. And it's been a huge lifestyle change, and we have adjusted. But yeah. with all of this learning, it's just it's quite fascinating. But please stay journey. tuned and continue watching our journey yeah. and I will try to post more often so yeah and we'll be entertaining I guarantee you Anything else? that's it all right thank all right. you later Barney